What's up, Love Pack? I'm that Krogan HD, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Custom House Builds. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you a modern style house that I built in Minecraft, which I entitled Riverside Terrace. Now, let's. I'm, I'm going to do something different in this episode. I'm going to show you guys the inside first, and then I'm going to show you the outside. So let's go inside. The inside, the moment you walk in, there is a chest to your right, which you can place anything. I keep it as like a regular dump chest and right in front of you there is a kitchen a fully functional working kitchen with a sink again and a fridge and over here there are two furnaces a crafting table and I put Steve's head there because I thought it looked cool I don't know you don't have to do that that's just a little extra thing I wanted to add And over here is a chest where you can put your food or any other items you please in here and again you don't have to use this same design as I you can use a different design you could have your kitchen over there, you could have your kitchen upstairs, you don't even need to have a kitchen. You could just have an area that has a furnace and a crafting table. When you leave the kitchen, you come to a little living area. Right here I put a jukebox and a little flower. Over here is a chest to place whatever you so choose. And a couch which with uh, a red rug underneath it. And for a design for a table, this is a very common design people use. I use a pressure plate on top of the uh, wooden post. You can. You don't have to do that, you don't have to put tables, I just thought it made it look a little more homey, a little bit more nicer. So let's go upstairs. Up these stairs is the room, the bedroom where you can sleep. Now this is really isn't a common use of a room, most people just have the bed anywhere, or they have a full upstairs, but I decided to kind of have a, a half cut upstairs, make it a little bit more open, you can see a little bit more light coming in, and it just, it. I thought it looked a little bit nicer. And then, of course, chests to put whatever you want. The bookshelves make it look a little bit more, like, nicer. Like, you like to read books or something. I don't know. It just, it's all just details and added effect. Um, you don't, like I said, you don't need to have the same exact design layout as I do. I just thought this was a little bit more efficient for me to live. And it, it's a little bit nicer. So let's go out the back door. The back door leads you to a little back patio, which will lead you to a outside. Right here I built a little dog house. I thought it's, it would be nice to have a little companion or dog. So I built a little dog house, a very easy, simple dog house design. I used stairs and wooden planks and glass panes with a gate and a fence and I gave him blue carpet. I don't know why, I just thought he looked like he needed some blue carpet. Over here is a uh, little farm where you can grow anything you want. I decided to grow carrots because I don't know, I personally like to grow carrots more in Minecraft now than anything else. And just a big, nice, open backyard. You don't need to have a fenced backyard. I just thought a nice fenced backyard would really tie in the house together. If you come over here, there is a chicken coop with a lot of eggs that I had not noticed. But a little chicken coop where you can... Oh, let me just get rid of that. A little chicken coop where you can, you know, have chickens, cows, pigs. You don't really need to have chickens. You don't even need to have the little pen. I just thought maybe have a little couple animals, another food source. It would be easier and nicer. So now let me show you the outside and the exterior point of the house. I built this house using logs and wooden planks. You don't need to use logs or wooden planks. You can use anything you want. Um, I first started with the 15 by 11 uh, foundation of regular smooth stone and then I kind of indented one block where I wanted to put that the front door and I also added a extra extension to a patio front porch type thing. Now I decided to finish the roof off with um, smooth stone slabs and cobblestone. I thought it, it could use a little bit more stone around it and it looks a little bit nicer than just having it all wood because I don't like using all wood, all wood for houses. I like using a little bit of contrasting colors and different elements. And in the back patio I just, I did the same thing as the front door except I used a um, I only use one post going up and I have two uh, steps to go to the uh, little animal farm or the dog house or the uh, the uh, actual farm. So yeah, and I decided to use glass panes because I'm not a fan of like the glass blocks because it's much easier. If you play survival, all you gotta do is much easier to make glass panes because you don't need that many glass blocks. So you can like cook up six glass blocks and then you get 16 or something glass pane so it's a little bit more efficient and nicer and plus I just like the way it looks and over here there is a little dock which you know you can fish since it is a riverside terrace 
But then again, you don't need to have near Riverside. You can just you can have it anywhere. I just think it's a little bit more efficient if it's closer to a river or water source. So that concludes this episode of Custom Minecraft House Builds. I hope you enjoyed this house. If you like it or you want to see it or you want to change it or you have changed it and you built it yourself, please tweet me a pic or send me a video response telling me what you changed, how you thought it would be easier, or tell me in the comment section below what do you think is an easier way to build this house besides how I did it. I really do enjoy if you guys tell me your opinions. One person told me his opinion and I enjoyed it and I thank you to him. I will put his name probably somewhere on the screen in editing. So thank you guys for watching. I am that Krogan HD. If you have not already, follow me on Twitter for updates and news about what I'm doing. Um, subscribe if you haven't. And if you like this video, please leave a like. If you disliked it, dislike it. Tell me why. Or if you just dislike it, don't dislike it. Just leave. I mean, hey, you don't have to sit here and watch. So thank you guys for watching. Again, I am that Krogan HD. Goodbye.